Welcome! Browsers seem to be the most important piece of software in this day and age. In this series we talk about browsers that we use for the most part. Stay tuned. The browser which we turn to most of the time is Opera. It's the Chromium-based browser that was initially released all the way back in 1995. It had its own layout engine, but in 2013, Opera switched to Chromium. It's a free browser with many popular features, such as speed dial, pop-up blocking, reopening recently closed pages, private browsing, tabbed browsing and many more. In 2016, the original Norwegian owner sold his stake in Opera software company to a Chinese consortium. It has its own end-user license agreement, which makes it partially closed source. Many people then have raised privacy issues, but for us it's a fast, modern browser. At the end of the day, whoever is so much concerned about privacy, online and tracking, then they should drop their mobile phones altogether. As far as privacy is concerned, the article on Wikipedia says that as a Norway-based company, Opera is subject to the General Data Protection Regulation, GDPR, Europe's Digital Data Protection and Privacy Legislation. It's one of the top five browsers in the world. It has a modern interface, offering more than one workspace. It includes modern social messaging apps, and Opera offers easy managing of bookmarks, your browsing history and overall settings. There, you can tweak and customize many aspects of your Opera browser. Opera includes a built-in virtual private network, VPN, that works well and quickly. On the right-hand side of the browser window, you'll find a handy easy setup button that enables you to customize the appearance of your Opera build. There are light and dark themes, and many default wallpapers on offer. In the lower left-hand corner of the browser, you'll find the sidebar setup menu, and just below the address bar, there's a bookmark bar, just like with Google's Chrome browser. When it comes to our experience with the Opera browser, it works with no glitches, even on older hardware, and it is multi-platform. Opera offers a very handy feature of saving web pages in PDF format that makes the exact copy of the content of the web page. But there is a feature that Opera is most famous for. It's called Speed Dial. The functionality enables you to pin your favorite websites to your start page. That means you can easily access your favorite sites once when you start your browser. Since it's based on Chromium, Opera does well with Google services, so if you are in Google's ecosystem, Opera might be the right choice for you. Much more could be said about this browser, but we try to present you with the most basic things Opera provides for their users. In the next video of the series, we will talk about a free and open source web browser that grows in popularity. Stay tuned! Like, share and subscribe. See you next time!